indicators are uh, organic acids and bases themselves for sake of argument and how to describe working of an indicator you should be able to uh, write HIN which is generic description of an indicator in acidic uh, sort of nature of itself in equilibrium it will dissociate into H plus and the anion of the indicator which can be represented as IN with minus charge so in the I, uh, HIN we are going to have color A or color 1 as your description and in IN minus we are going to have color B and then you're going to talk about what happens when you dump it into acidic solution versus basic solution so the first case in acidic solution if you put it in nitric acid, sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid the concentration of hydrogen goes up because they dissociate 100% so H plus goes drastically up and you will shift toward HIN therefore color A shows up and that's your argument and the equilibrium due to Le Chatelier shifts towards color A now what happens when you are in basic solution in a basic solution sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide the hydroxide of the bases react with react and remove H plus to give you water and therefore what happens is concentration of H plus goes down because you're removing it you're reacting with OH minus now if H plus goes down you are shifting permanently to color B or product side and equilibrium shifts toward color B this is good enough argument but then you have to be able and feel comfortable to write an equation generic equation of an indicator now the next uh, part of uh, indicators is how do you pick and choose a proper indicator for your titration you have to make sure that the pH of equivalence uh, from your graph or from the nature of the salt that you know remember this is when moles of hydrogen are exactly equal to moles of hydroxide the pH of equivalence should equal to pKa of the chosen indicator but since indicators they change color uh, not at specific pH rather over a range we usually give it a plus and minus one so pick and choose uh, an indicator that when you add one or subtract one from it your equivalence point is covered now I'm going to elaborate on this and make it a little bit uh, friendlier if possible uh, I have three indicators I borrowed it from IB data booklet their pKa is given their range uh, or pH range or useful range is also given now let's see uh, when, when can I use methyl red pKa is 5.1 I'm looking for something that is uh, acidic salt because those they have pH equivalence less than 7 5.5 is good enough how can you make acidic salt when you have a strong acid plus a weak base example HNO3 plus ammonia giving you ammonium nitrate which is an acidic salt and, and pH at equivalence is approximately 5.5 so this is when, when I'm going to use methyl red because my pKa plus and minus 1 really covers 5.5 it's uh, the range is 4 to 6 5.5 is there now let's go after phenol in then I go after phenol red when can I use phenolphthalein? Uh, when my salt is rather basic. So let's just look at a basic salt. Basic salt means that your your base is rather strong, and your your acid is weak. CH3COOH, a tannoic acid, 
plus a strong base sodium hydroxide will give you sodium ethanoate CH3COONA plus H2O the pH of uh, this at uh, this salt at the equivalence pH is approximately 9.5 what uh, and if you use phenolphthalein that's perfect because from 8 to 10 the the color goes rather in acidic phenolphthalein is transparent in uh, basic it becomes pink so the pink is uh, end of your titration or end point so we are going to choose phenolphthalein uh, now let's see uh, when I'm going to use uh, phenol red I want something that my pH is neutral or or it's a neutral salt neutral salt you should remember after your salt hydrolysis was the case of strong acid plus strong base HCl for example plus NaOH gives you your table salt NaCl a neutral salt plus H2O now what you should uh, be careful is so we are going to use phenol red now this you should be careful because if uh, you do your titration it depends on what you're adding to what are you adding acid to the base or base to the acid let's say I'm adding a volume of NaOH added so this is a case that we have HCl plus NaOH now if you have 0.1 molar HCl your pH is 1 and gradually once you make it to you neutralize it there is a sharp line vertical line and then it curves off and let's say this is pH of 13 because my NaOH is 0.1 now what happens is uh, if you use phenol red at about 6.8 so uh, 6.8 uh, the solution is yellow phenol red and once you make it to domain of 8 then you becoming red and then you should remember that your your 7 is here, somewhere here. This is pH of equivalence. And this is uh, the domain that your indicator is functioning over the vertical line. So you pick and choose this indicator and then it goes from yellow to red. If you reverse the order, if you add, uh, for example, HCl to NaOH, then you go from a solution which is already red into a solution that is yellow so that you have to be careful also uh, equivalence point is not necessarily end point although since this vertical line is uh, not fluctuating over addition of volume it's really sharp and instantaneous equivalence point and end point are good for a titration if you pick and choose proper indicator